Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. You heard about the accident? Was it on the news? I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. The park looks fun to explore. You're writing a novel? Since when? What if I die tomorrow? Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. But we wanted to take a class together, right? Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need... Oh, sorry. You're fine. Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to win a contest. Oh. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, sorry. You're fine. That might be- I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. I always figured mining was dangerous, but damn. This is cool, in a wicker man sort of way. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you wanna talk about it? I'm fine. Okay, definitely not fine. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... I'm here for you, whenever you need me. He looks so... alone. that Pike's really had his work cut out for him these last few days. Gabe was too young. Just too young. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Okay is good. I think. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. 
Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... <laughs> when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. Mac Loudon? The guy that showed up at Gabe's place, throwing punches. The safety manager on duty that night is lying to you. That's my statement. I know you're angry, Alex. But it's an ongoing investigation. I'm still going to need to interview you. Sure. Whatever. This location gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is the mining company is about to expand. More jobs means more customers. Oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys have typhoon eight years of my life. And that can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. Wanna do something together next week? Sure. I have a pottery class. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. I mean, you don't know that. Yeah, I... Oh, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not... Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Dude. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a dog I need to pet. Simple but effective. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I, I, it's not that, I, sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no. 
and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Guess they didn't feel like it might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I think the trails will be closed for a while. Someone died up in the ravine. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. Right? How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait. Isn't that the name of the found dog? Hey. You posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. Things will get better. We're losing our business. But it's like everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> 